Hello, it's Joe here from joecane.eu and in this quick video, I'll show you how to update an ESXi host to the latest patch level. So in this case, we have an ESXi 5.1 server running a old build and version number there, 838463. Um, it has three running VMs and it's not part of the data center or a vCenter server. So we'll go ahead and shut down these VMs. Okay, once they're shut down, we can enable SSH on the host. So go to the host configuration, security profile, properties on, on the services, and make sure SSH is running. In this case it is, but by default it's usually uh, stopped or disabled. So once that's running, we'll go ahead and download the update from VMware.com and upload it to the data store. In this particular server, we have three data stores, um, two SSDs and one um, standard SATA drive, all local disk. So go to vmware.com forward slash patch forward slash download and do a search under the version that you're running. So in this case, it's CSXI 5.1. Click search and you'll find the latest patches. So this case was released a couple of days ago, the 25th. We'll go ahead and download that. So once that's downloaded, we can upload it to the data store. Given its size, this might take a few minutes, so I'll skip ahead for through the video. Okay, once that's finished, we'll SSH onto the server. So we log in to the root. And the command to update is ESXCLI software vib install d and the path to the file. So in this case it's a VMFS data store, so forward slash VMFS slash volumes and the data store name. In this case VM data store two and the name of the file. hit enter. This will take a few minutes and once it's finished you'll see a confirmation saying it's been successful and list all the VIPs that were installed or updated. So we're ready to reboot now. So once it's finished rebooting, go ahead and log back in to the vSphere client and you'll notice the build number has been updated and you're running the latest version. And that's it. Thanks for watching.